roomy, soft, quite powerful and relatively inexpensive, explore, translated from English, researcher. However, there is an opinion that this car more often explores the contents of its owner's wallet than the owner explores hard-to-reach landscapes on it. The body is the most expensive part in a car. The body of the Explorer requires constant attention. Inspection of the car you like should begin with the lower ends of the doors, because it is from here that Americans often begin to rust. Also, the sills and arches of the rear wings, especially the left one, may turn out to be frankly rotten. It's good if they have already been digested and protected with anti-corrosive, it's much worse if the previous owners simply tried to mask the rot. A common problem with the Explorer is a rotten windshield frame. If paint begins to swell around the molding, it is useless to grease, and expensive repair lies ahead. Another weak point of the body is the door hinges, which tend to sag, causing the door locks to begin to close with difficulty. A similar problem is treated by installing a hinge repair kit, which is not cheap. Engine. Perhaps the most reliable component of this car is its engine. This archaic American power unit easily digests any gasoline, although it has a good appetite. A slight oil fogging on the gaskets can be a frightening symptom for a Japanese or European motor, but for an elderly American it is the norm. Steering. Do not pay much attention to the noisy operation of the power steering. This is also typical for this model and is not a sign of a malfunction. However, if it breaks, the replacement will not ruin you. Transmission. I somehow don't feel like storming the swamps on the Explorer, because all-wheel drive here is intended only for emergency situations when the rear one can't cope. A heavy car loses the fight against off-road, it instantly digs in, and in such a way that you cannot do without a tractor. In addition, the automatic transmission does not like heavy loads, slipping quickly finishes it off. But on the highway, the automatic transmission works smoothly, the gears are switched without jerks. According to statistics, all the machines that were installed on these machines have already gone through a major overhaul, but how well was it made? So the closest attention is to the automatic transmission. Ford should accelerate confidently, smoothly, and without vibrations. Vibrations during acceleration can testify to the backlash of the cardans in the transfer case, which will lead to its costly repair. A characteristic hum, reminiscent of the sound of an accelerating trolleybus, indicates a malfunction of the rear axle gearbox. Frame bulky car behaves on the road, gently and imposingly. It is for this that car owners love their Americans. Suspension. The lulling ride is due to a suspension setup that aims for comfort rather than off-roading that quickly finishes it off. Rear suspension springs bend backwards over the years, and new ones are expensive. The weakest point is the so-called spring earrings. They quickly rot and are repaired, handicraft and not for long. Electrician. Electricity is primitive. It can be called trouble-free, if not for the constant corrosion of various contacts. Contact repairs are inexpensive. Outcome. Inside, the Explorer is a classic American SUV. Everywhere there is blown plastic, large primitive instruments and a poker of the automatic transmission selector under the steering wheel. Five people in the cabin will feel at home, however, according to the owners, passengers sitting in the back do not get warm air for a long time in winter. The stove warms up the interior slowly and reluctantly, and the leather seats are deprived of elementary heating. The air conditioner on the old Explorer is usually faulty, check the pressure in the system, this is a bargain. The trunk is huge, however, when loading the car to the eyeballs, do not forget about the reliability and cost of the springs. This frame SUV received 4 out of 5 American points for safety. One point was cut off for insufficiently effective front airbags. The Explorer has good visibility. I sit high, look far away, but there is a large dead zone ahead, so it is difficult to maneuver out of habit. Despite the weak off-road qualities of this car, its ground clearance is more than sufficient. You can safely park in front of the curb, the main thing is not to drive over it, because the car may simply not notice it. Tanks are not afraid of dirt. In bad weather, glass and mirrors stay clean for a long time. The chance to run into a criminal explorer is minimal. Here you don't even need to check the engine number, it simply doesn't exist, like on many American cars. To clear your conscience, check the VIN under the windshield with the frame number and documents.